The city of Brighton pushing back today as it deals with an ongoing water scandal. The city says its water treatment plant is now compliant. That's after an EPA report showed violations three years in a row up until just this month. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn toured that plant today and takes a look at the water troubles leading up to this point. Russell? Anna and Tom, here's a quick timeline. This all dates back to August 2017 when Brighton residents started reporting sky-high water bills. Then in October 2018, there was the quote discovery of a $70 million fund which some believe was the result of rate gouging by the city. Then in June of this year, the city manager was put on leave and he was fired the next month. His supporters say it's because he blew the whistle on that slush fund. The mayor and other council members say it's because the manager was incompetent. And now in just the last week, concerns over backflow and water treatment violations. Inside the reverse osmosis treatment plant in Brighton. This is the heart of a reverse osmosis system. This is what's called the membrane. Lead plant operator Jim Hinton addresses concerns that this plant isn't meeting EPA standards and he welcomes future inspections. State can come in here anytime they want. At issue, an EPA summary which listed the plant as non-compliant for 12 consecutive quarters, three years. Councilman Matt Johnston and those leading the mayoral recall effort say that's extremely concerning. We cannot say that 100% for sure all of our water is safe. We can't say that. But the city of Brighton insists the non-compliance was with discharge from this plant, not the water that is filtered, cleaned, and going into the Brighton drinking supply. Hinton says that process is untainted. Overall, it's working extremely well. Former city manager Philip Rodriguez says the discharge violations still present a risk, if not to Brighton, to communities downstream. While this plant is aging, built in 1993, Hinton says the membranes have been modified to work with advancing technology and other changes. I did some digging around and found a company that that makes adapters that will allow you to put these membranes into the vessels that were made for these. As for the water coming out of here, Hinton says it's clean, crisp, and completely safe. And he says the chlorine levels, which some have also questioned, are well within state minimum and maximum requirements. You have both high and low. You can't go above and you can't go below. In Brighton, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.